Hey, what up, everybody? It's Lamar. Back again with another video. Gotta make this quick. And um, this is for everybody that has an iPhone. Um, this works for iOS 6 and 7, but it's for everybody that got an iPhone that has another laptop that um, don't want to sync their music because they don't want to lose their music off of their own phone. Oh, shit. But anyway. <coughs> As you can see, I am on iOS 7. I have a developer's account, by the way, so, but you don't have to have a developer's account to get this, but yeah. For everybody that has an iPhone that uses, I'm using a new computer. This is my sister's computer, by the way. And, um, you don't want to sync your, com you don't want to sync your music because you don't want to lose your music or whatever the case may be, but yeah. Anyway. Moving right along, I'm about to show you how you can put your music on the computer and on iTunes. First things first, you open up a browser and you go to iTools, so I T O O L S dot H K. <coughs> I had a link to this in the um, description box too. Yeah, yeah, you see it come up like this. You just come over here. Uh, and you click on English and you click English and you click on download and once you download it um, you go bring it up for y'all let me see uh, you go to here and once you um, once it's downloaded, you extract the files. Extract. Uh, I already have it extracted. And then once it's extracted, what you do is next thing you do, you open it up, and you should see this. Now I'm about to plug my phone up. And now that I have my phone plugged up, never mind that you wouldn't see that on your computer. You see, it said I have an iPhone five, and you can see it's Lamar's iPhone. It shows, it shows my phone, matter of fact. And you just come over here to media. And all your songs will pop up over here. And you come to check all. And you hit export. And you pick a location. See, I picked, I made my own file. And you hit OK. And what it's going to do, like I said, you click on check all over here. Then you come over here and you hit export. And then you know this will pop up. You know you go, you store it, you hit OK, and it's gonna process all your files, all your songs. It's gonna do all your songs, and this is completely free, by the way. And um, this is a way to put songs on your computer, I mean, on your phone too, without using iTunes. Um, yeah, this is a way. Like if you want to put songs on your phone without using iTunes, then you just hit import import and they just find the songs wherever it's at and you can do it that way so you don't have to put it go to iTunes to do it um it comes helpful handy too and I'm gonna show y'all I went on ahead of this process like unfortunately it worked too fast for me but I just came over here and I just came here and um I came here and I went and I found that folder that I put my music to and I just clicked it and I dragged it over here and as you can see it do not have no red sign under it so I can um, like it do right there and so I just came over here and I just dragged it and then it just you know all the songs just came straight into the, the library and now you know I can come here and you can see it do say iOS 7 I can come here and I can come sync the phone I can sync my computer my phone with the computer now and I won't lose any of my songs and um, anyway, you will find this video very helpful for you. I know for a fact. Oh shit, I'm just putting my code out. Don't worry, I'm gonna change it any fucking way. I got three different codes I do anyway. But um, yeah, for those of you that have Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at Lamar89. Okay, follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm on Twitter all the time, so you know it's easier for you to reach me on Twitter. By the way, I'm always on Twitter. 
But yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter, um, Lamar89, as you can see. My Instagram is Lamar89. I will have the link to the um, this web, the website in the description box. Comment the video, rate, subscribe. And um, as far as anything else goes, I would have questions if you have any other questions about photos and all the other stuff. But right now, I'm going to do my ringtones the same exact way. I'll show y'all that. I'm about to do my ringtones. Uh, yeah, just going to make a new folder. I'll show y'all real quick. I'll make a new spot right here right now just for y'all so y'all want to notice that this works I see I know for a fact this works and y'all can go y'all can be like yeah it's legit um and go back and so I clicked on my ringtones, these are all my ringtones, and I hit export and I go down Lamar's ringtones and then I hit OK. And it took all my ringtones there. All my ringtones have been exported and I go here. And you see my ringtones is right here. So you know, I can come here, uncheck this, I can come here, now, I can let go of the library, and I can come, well, I don't think I have any ringtones over here yet, so, I'm just going to come and drag the ringtones over, and now, let's see, okay, they go right there, all my ringtones is right here. All my ringtones that I just made, all of them's right here. And y'all can see for yourselves that it does work. And this is legit. It do work. And now we're not losing my ringtones. So, yeah, but like I said, you know what I'm saying? I try to make sure that everything that I do for y'all is very, very accurate. So, like I said, follow me on Twitter, at Lamar89. My Instagram is at Lamar89. Thumbs up the video comment rate subscribe if you have any questions you know comment in the video or um, send me a private message but you know it's faster if you hit me up on twitter because i'm always on it but yeah that's it for this video all right one